We're sorry to take your time. This will be over quick. Sure thing. Let's see. Ah, yes. You're the one currently under probation. It says here you had a dispute with Mr. Kamishida. Even though my opinion has been met with criticism, I've held fast that the Phantom Thieves are not just. However, I believe the recent series of suspicious deaths is unrelated to their actions. Yo, this dude is genuinely evil. Did he just threaten her? Stop messing around. I apologize for any concern they may have caused, and will henceforth search for an apt countermeasure. It may be somewhat of a stretch to say I'm on their side. Having said that, I won't deny that I empathize with them on some level. Hey, anyway, welcome back. We rise are here, and we're just going to jump straight into this. So, anyway, let's go in. The festival seems to be a success. There's definitely a lot more people than last year. Well, yeah. This place got famous and all. Phantom Thieves, Kamoshida, Principal Kobayakawa. On top of that, we got a catchy as a guest. There may be police officers in plain clothes, too. Actually, they probably are here. We better be careful about what we discuss. Acting like normal students is going to be important. What do you normally do at a school festival? Look around at the exhibits and eat stuff? There's no rules. Remember when we went to the beach before? Why not go about it like that? Um, the school festival in name isn't supposed to be for fun. More importantly, it's possible that both your names have come up during the investigation. A number of the teachers had been questioned before, and even we were interviewed the other day, too. Don't let your guard down too much. It's true that the initial members have been at this for a long time, making it easier to get tracked. All right. Now, now, let's leave it at that. We just need to be mindful about what we're saying, correct? Oh, um... <sighs> you seem to be having quite a lot of fun, Haru. You did mention that you were looking forward to this. I want to go around with everyone and eat at the refreshment stands. Well, it'll be a nice change of pace. A lot of nasty stuff's continued lately. Shall we head off to the stands then? All right, this is your first time at our school festival. They're pretty good, from what I've heard. I know a great one. Follow me. This is the place. Made takoyaki? New customers! I'll show you all to your seats. So, it's your classes stand. It's still a refreshment stand, isn't it? It's like a deserted island here. Well, I guess it's good for talking since there aren't any people here. We heard a lot of rumors even on our way here. And it was all bullshit. Here she comes. Act normal. Who cares? There's nothing normal about this anymore. Welcome home. May I take your order? Take my order? W what happened to the maid atmosphere? There are a lot of odd flavors. Stick to a normal one. I bet they... I'm so sorry. We sold our last normal one to the previous customer. The hell? Well then, I'll have the mentai cheese takoyaki. I'm sorry. We're out of cod, bro. Then how about the squid? Um, we're currently out catching squid. It'll probably take another five or six hours. That doesn't even sound remotely possible! Ain't this whole menu just a sham? Actually, we spent most of our budget on making the maid costumes look nice. We didn't put too much effort into the octopus. Oh, I can see that! Ryuji, you're making a scene! Then, what would you recommend with what you have now? That would be the Russian takoyaki. We'll have that, please. This will take a little time. Uh, let's forget about the octopus and get back on topic. 
On that note, hearing Kamoshida being almost treated like a victim makes me want to eat my stress away. I've even heard conjecture that the principal was targeted for reasons like he knew too much. I kept hearing about Goro Akechi's popularity. All thanks to the Phantom Thieves. You know, did that Akechi guy agree to show up here because he believes we didn't kill anybody? Or he may simply love large gatherings. Oh, true. He didn't seem like he minded being pampered by the media at all. We plan on stealing intel, but we might fall into another trap. I'm gonna be bummed if that happens. You are so carefree. Does it mean that you have nerves of steel in any situation? Still, it doesn't change the fact that we don't know what Akechikun is planning. Thank you for the wait. Ooh, it's fresh made. Lies, I heard a microwave go off. Well, it's not like I was expecting crispy takoyaki at a school festival or anything. So, what makes this a Russian takoyaki? Could there be jam in it as a secret ingredient? That sounds quite delicious. Well, one of these is special. Uh, one of them's obviously red. That's gotta be the one. Dude, don't tell me the Russian part means... It's like, going for the obvious one is manly. I is that so? Well, I'd prefer the most beautifully shaped one. But all of them are misshapen. Oh, aren't you all going to eat? I think I'll go for the special one. Wait, is she honestly going for it? Do you want to go for the red one? Ooh, impressive as always. Oh, everyone's all here. The, the panel isn't until tomorrow, though. I came to check out the venue. I can't make any mistakes, since a lot of people will be present. Someone's eager. But people ended up recognizing me. Everyone bombarded me with questions. That's because you were sloppy. I grew tired of the baseless rumors they kept bringing up. So I escaped to where there weren't any people. I'm going to have one of these. <gasps> the special one! Let's just call this my performance fee. But... It's fine. Hmm. It's quite the... Eating it in one bite is a bad idea. My throat. This is... Oh, my stomach. It burns. Are you okay? Do you need water? I'm... I'm fine. I just love, uh... Spicy... Spicy stuff. <laughs> Hey, does he sound broken to you? Well then, I'll... I'll see you, uh... T -t -t tomorrow <laughs> Wow, he's really trying to hold it together. He's waddling around like some comedian. It's like he wants to get picked up for some commercial or something. But, did he truly come to simply check the venue? This isn't good. I keep suspecting every little thing. I know what you mean. I'm doing the same too. I need to do my best tomorrow. We need to somehow get him to be our source of intel. I'm gonna pull this off no matter what. That Akechi guy, when he got here, didn't he say that everyone's all here? Everyone? You're here just imagining things. Hmm. You know, I'm not a huge fan of school festival stuff and games like this. I understand it's a Japanese thing, Japanese culture, but I mean, personally, if I was at a school festival, I probably wouldn't care too much. I'm just not interested in the social life. <laughs> yeah, Ketchy already knows who we are. I think it's easy to make that assumption. Mm. 
we might just see the next palace pretty soon, to be honest. It's been uh, around 10 days, not 10, tw almost 20 days since the end of Okamura's Palace. So, I didn't save last time either. Yeah, let's do it. I wouldn't have this much hours if I didn't sit around doing testing time all the time. Let's go to sleep. I want to hope this episode is filled with stuff besides palace stuff. Because I want to get to the mementos. If I can get to it like at a good recording time, don't have to split the episode, it'd be better. At least better for me. Well then, we will now begin today's panel. Our guest of honor is Goro Akechi. I feel kind of bad considering how many people have gathered. I'm sure you all would have been happier to have a singer or a mascot appear, wouldn't you say? We'd appreciate if you could tell us about your experiences with the Notorious Phantom Thieves. It'd be wonderful if you could let us hear more about your actual investigative process. I'm not used to being the one interrogated, so please go easy on me. How much do you think he knows? He talks about the Phantom Thieves are dangerous, yet he says they haven't committed any murders. Either he has an idea who the true culprit is, or he has uncovered the identities of the Phantom Thieves. Come on, Makoto. You gotta get it out of him. As much as you're allowed to say, would you tell us how far along your investigation is on them? Getting right to the point, I see. Well, if it's as much as I'm allowed to say, then everything on TV and the internet is all of it. We don't have any leads yet, and the methods behind their crimes are still unclear. I see. Even with this country's power, arresting them is proving to be difficult. Is that the case? I wouldn't phrase it that way, but, well, something like that. Thank you for answering that question. By the way, it seems you've denied a correlation between the Phantom Thieves and the murders. Why the sudden change? Until now, haven't you upheld your stance that the Phantom Thieves are dangerous? How are you so positive that they haven't committed murder? Are you a little too comfortable interrogating people? Why it's as if you're a prosecutor. <sighs> Excuse me. This is something I've personally been interested in, so I couldn't help it. But won't you tell us? What reason is there that you'd claim their innocence, when you previously stated they were unjust? Mako-chan's really pressing for an answer. She's pelting him with questions. Every person whose heart they changed have truly been criminals, including Okumura. Why then was he the only one who needed to be killed? Why is that? I must admit, I couldn't deduce a reason. That's why I believe that case should be thought of as if a different party is responsible. And if, this is all hypothetical, mind you. If the Phantom Thieves are the ones I know of, I can't possibly imagine they would kill anyone. Your comment just now. Does this mean the police have already identified who they are? Oh, no. The police haven't gotten that far yet. But I have my own conclusions about the true identities of the Phantom Thieves. He's gotta be bluffing! Pipe down! He's lying, right? But if it's the truth... You're not going to ask me who they are? It may have repercussions on the investigation. Are you sure you can share that with us? It's only my personal opinion, so announcing that here wouldn't pose a problem. However, there is a possibility that everyone present will hear the truth before the police or media. The truth? What's he planning on saying? That's quite the confidence you have. If you're so certain, 
Very well. I'd like to ask you then. Who do you think the Phantom Thieves are, Akechi san? That idiot! Oh. There's no way he could have any evidence. They're people you all know quite well. The identity of the Phantom Thieves are. Ah, oh, it's mine. I apologize for the interruption, but I can't turn off my phone due to my job. Would you mind if I step away for about ten minutes or so? I'm terribly sorry, everyone, but we'll be taking a break. We'll resume the panel in ten minutes. Please don't troll me online for this interruption, okay? Is there a room I may use? There's the P.E. faculty office. I want you to come too. There's a matter I want to discuss. Your friends from yesterday are here, aren't they? Can you bring them too, if that's all right? Did you set this up? We only have ten minutes, you know. What do you want to talk about? gotta be shopped I have video footage too please let's not feign ignorance all of you can go to that other world too yes it's not just all of you I am aware of that world too I also know that when you traverse over there your appearance changes as well it's because of those mysterious powers isn't it I found out about that world about a month ago. This had been installed onto my phone without my knowledge. Dude, it's the NAV. When the app activated on its own, the scenery around me suddenly changed. Quite frankly, I still can't believe it myself. But from the look of these photos, all of you seem quite used to it. We've been listening to you blab on for a while now, but cut the delusional... All of you are acting as phantom thieves in the metaverse. I can say so with conviction because I have the same power as you. So, you admit it then. In all honesty, I've been curious about you since the time of the Matarame case. But to think it would end up like this... We didn't kill anyone! I believe that as well. How can you be so sure? Because I saw another. The real culprit. For real? Who was it? I couldn't identify his face. He had a mask on, after all. Actually, when I took these photos, I entered that world, too. That's when I saw someone else moving about, besides all of you. He shot at me the moment he noticed me. That's who killed President Okumura? Most likely. At the very least, I was almost killed by him. I can't die here. I need to determine the truth. When those thoughts overcame me, I awakened to that power. A most fortunate accident. This guy has a persona too? This cat. I swear, it just... talked. Morgana, our teammate who taught us about the metaverse. Really? This is unbelievable. But it is true that you know things that I don't. Say, Morgana, were you also the one who instructed them on how to change people's hearts? I experienced that world too. But I still haven't solved that mystery yet. We go in the metaverse, or we call them palaces, to steal the core of their desires, their treasure, and those whose treasure has been stolen have a change of heart. Ah. <laughs> There's certainly no way anyone could figure out such an M.O. Anyways, back to what you were talking about. Are we in this mess because of that guy? Although I don't completely understand the method, all you do is simply reform people. Someone else is behind the murders. However, the police have decided that the Phantom Thieves did it. They'll arrest you at this rate. They're going to treat me as my father's murderer? I can't overlook such a grave mistake, which is precisely why I want us to strike a deal. I may be able to save you from this situation. 
A deal? I would like you to cooperate with me on investigating the truth. And if we decline? Then I think I'll have to inform the police about all of you. Along with that video I mentioned. This ain't no deal, it's blackmail! Say what you will. This is the method that I believe is correct. The justice I uphold will not tolerate criminals who kill people at their leisure. Justice. You've heard that Sai-san is the one spearheading the investigation about you Phantom Thieves, correct? The higher-ups are concerned only with settling the case. They want to capture the culprits behind the psychotic breakdown incidents and end the commotion. Those are the ones who are putting pressure on Sai-san. I can only imagine her impatience. What of evidence that we did it? How do they intend on proving it? Even if there's no objective explanation to the method, it's over once causality is established. Sai-san can't make rational judgments at the moment. If she were to be cornered, well, she may even make up a confession. Make it up? So, they're gonna make it all our fault? Just cause they feel like it? We haven't killed anyone though! And we're still going to be arrested? You'll be found guilty if you're caught. And it will be treated as a very serious crime. Bullshit! None of that makes any sense! Unfortunately, nothing I can do alone anymore to stop the flow of things. And that's why you want our cooperation. Yes. In return, I'll turn a blind eye to what you've done. Those are my conditions. That said, I ask that you disband the Phantom Thieves after this. What should we do about Akechi-san's proposal? I see. I thought I was making a lot of concessions myself. Well, you don't have to decide at the moment. Considering this is you we're talking about, I believe you'll come to a favorable reply. Alright. I'm glad we could talk. It's been a while since I've been able to spend such a meaningful time like this. I look forward to your answer. It was definitely worth coming today. For various reasons. We should be getting back. About that. I'm sorry. Would it be acceptable if we ended the panel here? The reason why you called for me in the first place was because you wanted intel. Correct? My business is concluded as well. I'll deal with it somehow. Damn it! He had complete control over us! Hey, they're going! I'm sorry about the sudden break. An urgent task came in. So, I truly apologize about this. But I'll have to end things here today. To make up for the time that was planned for this panel, the Rakugo Research Club will instead be... I can't say anything in detail regarding the Phantom Thieves' investigation, but I feel another great stride will occur again soon. I hope you all continue to pay attention to what happens. Let's have a big round of applause for today's guest, Goro Akechi. Was that really our best course of action? He totally used Makoto's suggestion against us. Indeed. We intended to get intel out of him, but to think it would play out like this. So what? We'll just accept his deal? He's got evidence on us. We really don't have a choice. Damn it! What are we gonna do? Calm down, Ryuji. How am I supposed to calm down? What are we gonna do? What's done is done. We'll have to cool our heads and think more on this. We must make up our minds by the time he contacts us again. We need to give this a lot of thought. Similar occurrences followed in succession earlier this spring. Although things have quieted down until recently, several incidents have occurred once again. 
Furthermore, new information has come to light about the suspect who suffered sudden mental shutdown. He had received a calling card from the Phantom Thieves. Why did Futaba have something like this? If a calling card was delivered, we can only assume that the Phantom Thieves are behind it. If so, those occurrences back in spring can be attributed to them as well. Moreover... I knew it. She's... Oh, God. The post-festival party is about to begin in the gymnasium. Please join us, everybody. Oh boy, that was a long, long amount of stuff. Um, a lot of stuff to digest, really. Wait, what? What would be the point of going with Haru? Would it establish a social link? I doubt it. Let's go call Kami. Yeah, why not? Yeah, hearts, boy. All right, that was a great performance by the dance club. Everybody, give them another round of applause. Their effort is being ignored, and yet they continue to give it their all. That's today's youth for you, I guess. Uh, what? Anyway, about what Akechi-kun said earlier. And now it's time for your favorite shoujin tradition, the student sharing special! Round of applause, everyone! Wanna go someplace where we can be alone? There's something I want to talk to you about. Enjoy the post-festival party. Just stop by the students' association room when you're done. Quick. You know how Akechi-kun was talking about the true identity of the Phantom Thieves? Well, let me know if you're in any trouble, okay? I'll be there to help you. I'm trying to be serious here. No matter what's going on around you, I'll always be on your side. I know I always end up depending on you because you're so reliable. But depend on me sometimes, all right? No, we're at school, remember? It's not exactly a substitute, but I can give you this. This is embarrassing. That's a relief. All right. I'm going back to work. Oh, and about what you just asked me to do? I'm pretty okay with it. As long as we're not at school. Get home safely. Yeah, boys. I mean, I guess I would have gone with Haru, but I don't know. If it wasn't like guaranteed to establish a social link, and even if it did establish it, then it would be something I had no choice over. You know, we would either do it earlier or later, and then we have the choice to go with Kawakami or some other girl. You know what I mean? So I'm not really, 
I'm not really stressing it. I mean, I don't think we'll have any time to finish Harlow Social Link anyway. Probably need some sort of stupid standard. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, this stuff. <laughs> but I just gave up. <laughs> it's always like some people I know. Oh yeah, I didn't mention this. I named my character Akira Goto. Now, I didn't know the canon name is Akira Kudusu uh, by the time when I had given him his name. I named him Akira because Akira sounded cool. And then Goto because Persona 5, Go is 5 in Japanese. So, there you go, Akira Goto. But it's funny that his name is Akechi Goto. Has been causing quite a commotion. I'll pick it up later. No countermeasure for the phantom thieves, the sorry state of the police, destruction of safety. They're saying whatever they want. So, how's the investigation progressing? Any clues yet? Nothing that leads to a firm conviction yet. What's going on here? Didn't you say that you were sure about closing this case? And I thought I told you that failure won't be tolerated. <laughs> well, this is troublesome. If things continue at this rate, never mind a promotion. We'd have to let you go entirely. But, sir... I had high expectations for you. But it seems this task was too much to handle for someone so young. We may need to reform the operation as well, since the selected personnel for this... Please, let me see this through to the end. This case is something that I've always... I know that you've been at this for a while now. Even before the police spared us the staff for... If you can manage an arrest, I've made special arrangements so that you can question them personally. That's what you want, isn't it? The leadership of this country is about to change. We can't let this case carry over into their term. I'll make myself clear again. Failure isn't an option. We need results. I understand. You're allowed to take some bold measures if you need to. We need good results, no matter what. Oh, one more thing. If the unexpected happens to occur, contact me immediately. To you, sir? I said that failure isn't an option, didn't I? Yes, everything is proceeding as planned. <laughs> Yo, we've seen that shot of him standing out there so many times. Oh, more story. Oh my god. I was cleaning up and found this. <gasps> this is a calling card, right? I read about it online, too. Y you went into my room without my permission? I'll apologize as much as you want later. So, what is this? That's... Is it something to get flustered over? I knew it. This isn't just some game you're playing. Why aren't you saying anything? Why did you keep it? I mean, it was memorable. Explain. Explain. Is it something that you can't explain? If this keeps up, Futaba's... You will, huh? I'll get right to the point. Is this a real one? Was a... well... a change of heart triggered in you? <laughs> How about it? died, I... there was n no exit. I was trapped in an labyrinth of my heart. I knew I had to leave it, but I, I couldn't do it by myself. 
Futaba. Here, sit down. I can at least listen to what you have to say. The Phantom Thieves saved me. They stole my messed up heart. It's the same as Mom's research. They changed my cognition. Seriously? <sighs> Wakaba's research about altering one's cognition. I wondered about it myself, too. Still. When she said she was going to go to the beach out of nowhere, and even the doctors had thrown in the towel. <laughs> At first, I just chalked it up as other kids being a better support for you than any adult. But as I kept watching the tabloid shows here day in and day out, a thought crossed my mind. I thought... Your case kind of seemed similar to what these phantom thieves were doing. Wow! I'm still your guardian, you know. I'd never overlook such a drastic change in your behavior. So, Jiro. But to think that Wakaba's research and the phantom thieves changing hearts were about the same thing. Back in the day, I used to be a government official. My job was to be the bridge between the country and the lab that Wakaba worked at. It's around that time that I got to know her. She said something odd when we were out drinking, that she might soon die in an odd way. Who wouldn't take that as a joke? I just laughed it off. But it happened exactly as she said. If anything were to happen to you, I'd feel like I let her down. There's something I want to ask you. Judging from your attitude, you knew about this calling card, didn't you? You should have known that Futaba had a change of heart through the Phantom Thieves as well. Is there a connection between you and them? The first incident of a change of heart was a teacher at your school. The kid who brought that painting here was a pupil of that artist who had a change of heart, wasn't he? And then, there's Futaba. These scandals always seem to find their way around you. What do you have to say? You think this is a game? These people are called criminals by the general public. Why did you introduce such dangerous people to Futaba? That's not true! I asked them! That's why he saved me! He stole my heart! Asked? Stole? Uh, um... Wait, are you saying that he's the one who changed your heart? So, he's not connected with the Phantom Thieves, but is one himself? <laughs> You're pulling my leg, aren't you? Are you serious? You really are a Phantom Thief? Oh, for crying out loud! Sojiro! So, basically, I've been sheltering a phantom thief for the last six months. And on top of that, Futaba's involved too. What the hell? I... I want to find the culprit who killed my mom! Wait, it killed? She was killed! I... Remember it now! Stop this nonsense! Why won't you believe me? Are you the same as everyone else? Didn't you know already? The way Mom died wasn't normal! Didn't you notice that her research was stolen by someone? Sojiro! When she passed away, I did think it was odd. It was awfully fishy. But what could I do? All I was able to do was run from it all. And the outcome of that was me spending my retirement here. Also, the reason I took custody of you was me trying to selfishly atone for what happened to Wakaba. It's basically my fault that you got burdened with all this crap. It's not your fault, Sojiro. I acted all big, lectured, even yelled at you kids. 
And in the end, I'm the one being consoled. <laughs> I'm hopeless. And a laughingstock, aren't I? I mean, the one who killed Mom's the one at fault! <sighs> I see. Don't worry. Even if you are the real Phantom Thieves, I have no intention of reporting or kicking you out. <laughs> I mean, who would believe such a story? <laughs> Unless they catch you red-handed, it's impossible to explain that you're the Phantom Thieves. Let me just say one thing, though. Immediately back out of a fight that you can't win. Don't you get it? If, by chance, you pissed off the same guys that killed Wakaba, then they're not someone that kids like you can deal with. Listen to reason, all right? We're done talking about this. Let's eat. I'm so hungry because I raised my voice so much. <sighs> At least we avoided the worst case scenario of being reported arbitrarily. Still, we should tell the others about what just happened. Oh, I'm tired. What a scene. Oh, there's more? What? <sighs> you gotta get in. I never got to my Akira Goto and Akechi Goto thing. How they're so similar. It's been like 40 minutes. I haven't really even talked. <laughs> Do I need to be here? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing would have changed. Oh my god. She was killed by mental shutdown. Yep. I mean, this is why Sojiro is the greatest dad. Even though he was right about a lot of it, uh, he still, like, batted for us. He was, and, and for some reason, he thought he was in the wrong, too, for yelling at some kids, even though we're doing the absolute wrong thing. We shouldn't be involved in this kind of stuff. All right, so we spent like 42 minutes with story stuff. Why is Fatama in my room? Kamashita was involved with you. You moved in around this time. The Kamashita stuff just started to blow up. And then the Madarame happened, and then you just happened to become friends with Yusuke Kitagawa, who brings a painting over here of uh, Madarame's most valued painting, by the way. And then Futaba. But then again, the Futaba thing's like just... Like I said before, it's an inside thing. I think I said that last episode. It's inside between the characters to cast themselves. I guess Medjid is overall involved, but still, no one, no one else would really know Futaba is like a super hacker. And then we have the Okamura, and now Haru is hanging out with us. It's very easy, and I'm surprised no one else has put it together. I mean, I'm sure the police have, but still, they can't do anything outside of reason, I guess. Until they beat the shit out of me when I get caught <laughs> all right decided to catch okay sorry it's my fault I left this happening sorry all right well Futaba you gonna sleep here Futaba you can sleep here You could stay here for top. I don't mind. Whatever. Well then. Oh yeah, Kamakami was okay with the uh, massage too. Booyah. She just wouldn't do it at school. I'll make her do it at school sooner or later. I know I can't, but you know. <laughs> More. The speech given by Representative Masayoshi Shido, who may be forming a new party. <sighs> We now resume our coverage of the Phantom Thieves, the suspects for Mr. Okumura's death and others. The police have designated the Phantom Thieves as the country's most wanted fugitives, and have decided to reward anyone with information leading to the capture of the Phantom Thieves. Look. Those who provide information will be offered a reward of 30 million yen. And considering the high amount, it shows how extraordinary the situation has become. 
Reward money will be supplied by the police and the families of the victims. Further, if I report you to the police and they arrest you, I supposedly get 30 million yen for it. I hope you understand the situation you're in. Even people who didn't have an interest before will be on the lookout for the Phantom Thieves. And it'll happen every day, even at school. Why did this happen? I see. Well, how do I put this? I'm sorry I didn't realize it. It's also my responsibility that this happened. All I can do now is give you shelter. Just don't become desperate and do something reckless, all right? I won't sell you out. As long as you're here, there's nothing to worry about. I feel bad about what we've done to the Chief. I'm responsible too. Did you see that reward? <laughs> Perhaps we put too much pressure on them. With this, the Phantom Thieves have become public enemy number one. <laughs> exactly. That will be when their curtain falls. Hey, <laughs> great! Okay, and we're back. Oh my god. I just kind of want to run into mementos. Hopefully I get enough free time. Yeah, great. More text. You see the news? Brace myself, actually. Uh, I went through it fast that time and nothing happened. Nope. Don't get my after school. <laughs> and the reward's 30 million yen? What is this, a comic book? <laughs> it feels so unrealistic, I can't help but laugh. We are finally being treated as actual criminals. I'm positive now. Remember all of those what ifs I mentioned before? All of this was truly set up. How President Okumura ranked first, the fad before that, even Mejed. It was all to make the Phantom Thieves famous. On top of that, we were lured to target Okumura. Yeah, the enemy likely planned to lay the blame on us from the start, after we gained popularity. Then what about everything we've done until now? Are the people whose hearts we changed and thought were corrupt actually not? No, because of Yusuke and I, the Matarame and Kanashiro cases were coincidental. Wasn't that the case with Kamashita too? Considering what happened with the rankings, only the previous target would have been used to lure us. What a cheap trick to use. Cheap? It's nothing of the sort. There's the fake Medjad and the site's altercation. They might have even engineered the fat around us. So much time and effort has been put into this. President Okumura probably wasn't their only target. Perhaps they intend to place all blame of past and future psychotic breakdowns on our group. That's why I said we shouldn't jump into things so carelessly. What, so this is my fault? Even you agreed to it in the end. And there was that thing with Haru at the time. How are we supposed to ignore that, huh? I'm sorry. This was all because I one-sidedly decided that my father was a criminal. All I could think about was my fiancé. If I had only been able to cope with it more calmly... Haru? It's not Haru's fault. I should have spoken up too when Principal Kobayakawa died. Damn it! This is bullshit! God! Fuck! Ryuji! Taking out your frustration on things doesn't help anyone! Hey. What do you think? Why did we lose? What did we do wrong? It's probably because we weren't acting like ourselves. Agreed. At the time, we only cared about the opinion of the general public. Yeah. 
That really is it. I was so caught up in making a name for ourselves. I'm such an idiot! I became a phantom thief because I hated those same kinds of adults! To think we had begun clinging to fame and a place to belong that our eyes had become clouded. We were meant to be the righteous phantom thieves, but we lost sight of our original cause. I'm so irritated with myself. Makoto... Damn it! I know that we've been set up, and that I was a complete idiot too, but still... It's so damn frustrating! Of course I want to do something about this! Yeah. We'll be in deep water at this rate. However, we have no idea who we're up against. And whether they're an individual or an organization. Furthermore, they must be in a position of power. Or have powerful backers if they can go so far. Are we really a match for this? Should we... end this now? I mean, things might get worse for everyone. Hey, what should we do? Yeah, running away with our tails between our legs is exactly what they want. That's the same as dumping our aesthetics again, because we only care about our hides. just said I can't let it end like this absolutely not like this looks like we're settled on what we want to do all that's left is how we go about it yeah yo wow it's kind of like no time hey it's me uh -huh. about me yelling I'm sick and tired of usually being so angry I understand that's his character, but you would think he would have grown out of it. Hmm. It's like, Ryuji has the least character development of most- I, I can't say that honestly though. He's grown, but- And again. I missed that one. Uh, it made me happy that- okay, whatever. But, it's like, he's still flat out angry at so many situations. It's hard to really relate with the guy. I don't know. It's just because I'm not like him. I don't get angry like this. Uh, I don't get angry like he does. I understand the situation is blown to a hundredth degree. It's not something regular people can relate with. Uh, but still, he just... He blows his top so fast. Are you going to give in? Things will turn around. You, yeah, you can still change. Please, you have to change. By the end of the game, you have to be a different person. Now, your social link is a totally different matter, but still. And then again, Haru and... I, I would just say Haru. Haru didn't have to apologize for anything. You know, yeah. it was her first time being a fan of the she, Really, she's only been one for like a month or so. While, I have to say, Ryuji and An were definitely more in fault compared to Yusuke. Yusuke was always cautious about it. He's like, hey, don't do this. He wants to gather tomorrow after school. Oh my god, the story does not end. We only have seven minutes left. Tomorrow, that's sudden. This is directly after the reward. Uh huh. Most likely, he wants to man. Uh, ooh, I read that. <laughs> I was reading that. He wants to come up with something. Because with the reward, it's probably going to move way faster now. People going after us, at least. Really, I haven't done nothing this whole episode. I wish I could say more. Like, we should just put out a fake target. Say we're going after this person. That's what we should do. Because they want to play us, we need to play them. Or at least throw some sort of curveball. Now, again, these are a bunch of kids trying to mess with a government. Uh, it doesn't seem like it would work too well, but hey, we gotta try anything, right? That's barely even a drop. An issue in which oh my god. Whatever they want under the name of justice cannot be left alone. Only now does the government speak of taking countermeasures. But their actions are too little, too late. 
The government as it stands has been left behind the times. It is obsolete. If this is a ship that's bound to a rotting dock and destined to sink, we might as well destroy it once. Let us end this chaos through my hands and yours. He's a politician of the ruling party, isn't he? I heard they're splitting up to form a new party, so an election might come before the year's end. I'm gonna vote this time for sure. This man has my support. You haven't voted until now? That's problematic as a member of society, you know. Politics just never interested me before. But this politician seems pretty amazing. He's passionate and thinks of the future. I mean, someone like that should be prime minister. I'm definitely voting for him. Well, I suppose that makes sense, since the other politician seems so unreliable. Wow, how relatable to real politics, huh? When you say that you want us to Great. cooperate with you, what exactly do you intend us to do? That's a good question. But might I have a cup of coffee first? Quit effing around! Please keep this short. There's a bounty for information in addition to the arrest warrant. Those are quite desperate measures. I'm referring to Sai-san's actions. I assume all of you were at your wit's end as well. She must be considerably vexed if she's gone that far. Make headlines with the arrest warrant, then use incentives to get testimonies. It's not a bad method. The police have nothing on us. There's no way they can make an arrest. True. I'm the only one who's ascertained your true identities. However, the groundwork for fabricating testimonies and concocting a culprit are underway. We don't care about that self-gratification. Get on with it! I'll be blunt. I'm thinking of triggering a change of heart in Sai-san. I've already discovered that she has a palace. Huh? Really? Is this to prevent the investigation agency's recklessness? Precisely. Still, there's no need to change her heart just for that. Indeed. It's hard to believe that a single person can fabricate all that. Unfortunately, that's not the case. What if I told you that those around her would turn a blind eye to false evidence? You saying the police would do such a thing? It seems they're more trusted than I thought. Their priority is settling the situation. They don't care who the supposed culprit is. No! They're completely rotten! My objective is to find the true culprit. That must be the case for all of you, too. However, the current situation is extremely bad. If worse comes to worst, someone unrelated will be set up as the culprit, huh? Our only solution to this is to make Sai-san come to her senses. If she's in her right mind, she can stop this situation. Her sense of justice wouldn't allow it. So that's why... The truth will be covered up. And an innocent civilian's life will be destroyed. I can't allow such a thing to happen. My own ethics won't stand for it. I mean... I guess I can understand how you feel. And changing Sai-san's heart will be to protect her as well. How do you mean? If the true culprit were to learn that she's responsible for the investigation, what would happen? I'm certain they'll aim for her life. She's the perfect target to place blame on the Phantom Thieves. So how about it? Will you agree to my plan? Even though you're particular about being just, you're willing to get your hands dirty? It can't be helped in order to ascertain the truth. There is also one more merit in changing Sai-san's heart. It will become a warning to not mess with us. They can't go public if someone in the investigation has a change of heart. It'd show their corruption. All that's left from there is for me to discover the identity of the true culprit. <sighs> what do you mean? You're gonna tell us to announce our disbandment once the real culprit is arrested, aren't you? As expected from Anijima. So, what do you say? I don't think it's a bad deal for either of us. Makoto, what's your take on all this? It's a well-made plan. It even takes putting an end to our team into consideration. I'm flattered to hear that. Why are you willing to do all this, Akechi-kun? Why do you seek justice? 
because of sickening human beings. Yes. My contempt for such people drives my sense of justice. It isn't some grand reason like society's sake or some lofty ideal. It's simply an absurd grudge and extremely personal. Dude. You know, doesn't he remind you of us? I can't really explain it. But I guess it's how some disgusting adult pissed him off. We're similar, hmm? Maybe that's why I thought that I could ask this of you all. Won't you cooperate with me on the mission to change Sai-san's heart? Thanks. <laughs> I was actually rather worried there. This mission can't succeed without your cooperation, after all. The Phantom Thieves will be disbanded, and everything will work out. I pray it does. Mako-chan. I'm okay. I never brought it up until now, but the reason I joined the Phantom Thieves is because I wanted to change my sister's heart. I was hoping it had never come to pass, though. I've also known for quite some time that she has a palace. Why didn't you tell us? It was too selfish of a reason. Though I was too scared to look any further into it on my own. Why don't we try going there now to scope the place out? A lot of this will be new to me, so I'd like to get myself accustomed to it too. I I'm sorry, I actually have plans today. I see. That's unfortunate. Will you tell your sister about this? Of course not. It's just... You seem awfully evasive today. Is something the matter? I just can't make time today. Let's call it a day then, and resume this tomorrow. I'm sorry, everyone. Wasn't Makoto acting a bit weird? Well, I guess that can't be helped. Regardless, it all starts tomorrow. I hope this goes well. Then the Phantom Thieves targeted me as per his advice? And he had already experienced the Metaverse by the time of the Okumura case? That can't be. I mean, he never said a word. Although, his attitude did change suddenly around that time. Akechi couldn't kept quiet about the most important details, and my own sister may be a Phantom Thief? If this is all true, I'm appalled as the commander of this operation. I alone was kept in the dark. So you became convinced of another's existence through the two mental shutdown cases. And if you were apprehended while falsely accused of those crimes, that villain would still be loose. That's why you targeted me? Not for your own preservation? Hmm? <sighs> no. If this villain does exist and is setting up your group, I would be targeted next. Did Makoto come up with that speculation? Perhaps I'm overthinking things. Hey! You need to keep your focus! It seems you're completely worn out, but the look on your face isn't one of defeat. Why is that? I'm amazed. It seems you can still talk. When you were arrested, a man at the scene told you that you were sold out, correct? Those words normally hint at the existence of a traitor. However, if your story till now is true, one reason can be concluded. It's frustrating to admit, but at a certain point... No, most likely from the start. I was a mere puppet. Someone set up only to bear responsibility later. Someone intended your arrest, and the minimal staff directly involved were in their pocket. 
And if that's the case, true integrity would side with you. All right. No, I'm jumping to conclusions. I don't believe your story yet. There's something I need to confirm with you. Was a change of heart triggered in me? What happened in the time between entering my palace and your arrest? Tell me everything. Alright, we're going to end it there. Because uh, we had a lot of story stuff. We went over time. And, um... Jeez, it's just a lot of information to consume and put down. But most importantly, Elgato seems like it's slowing down. I really hope this video isn't messed up. Because I would hate to have to go through a whole hour of story stuff all over again. <laughs> That would really suck, but regardless, shit ton of story. I didn't know Makoto knew Sai had a palace. That's pretty interesting that Makoto already knew that information. It's like weird to think that maybe Makoto, one of the team members, went around town and looked for people who had palaces. Because that's all you really had to do. You had to just find some names and then just start going on and on and on. Some personal information too. I would do that if I was part of the Phantom Thieves, like just go around finding palaces, because there's got to be a lot more. There's a lot of crooked people out there who probably just aren't part of Mementos and have bigger palaces. But regardless, we got to end this here. I'll see you guys next time. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. So if you're new here, peace out. That's it, huh? What's going on here? We are looking at the courthouse, aren't we? Seems like it. Let's go. Right. to provide value to the Phantom Thieves. This is actually the only thing I can honestly say I'm good at.